this is Dave with the Prepper Bookshelf, and today I've got a fiction book for you, Lucifer's Hammer, from Larry Niven. And uh, Larry Niven's known for uh, uh, a lot of sci-fi books, right? And this one, basically a comet comes and, and, and hits the planet and, and uh, basically has a, a one of those without rule of law things. Um, pretty, uh, you know, my opinion is it's going to take... There's not too many types of disasters that are going to end up destroying governments and have you in a total without rule of law situation. Uh, but this is one of them. Very, very interesting book. Got you thinking about a lot of stuff that uh, you know a lot of people don't normally think about. I, I particularly like the passage where it talks about this uh, professor who has all these books and he, and he seals up all of his books, puts them in the septic tank because with those books... He had the right books. You could rebuild civilization. And uh, uh, when he got to a place that had, you know, a surviving community, you know, based upon a ranch, you know, and they were very particular of who they would let in. And this guy came in, they didn't want to let him, but he said, you know, here, look, this is what I do, this is what I know. And he was able to trade his knowledge for, um, you know, a place to stay. And he ended up, uh, I don't want to ruin it for you, but he ended up making a choice to. Uh, use his skills for the betterment of the community rather than the betterment of himself and had some, some pretty bad consequences for him later on and uh, you know it has a little bit to do with with kind of my ideas right um, if you have something that big catastrophic and I and I really don't think that we're ever going to have a complete societal meltdown go back to the Stone Age but you know if we did a lot of these stuff that I've got back here, a lot of stuff I'm reviewing, you know, might help us get out of that Stone Age and get back to the Bronze Age a lot quicker, right? So anyway, very interesting book. You know, talks about, you know, this guy had this bug out location, you know, and he paid a guy to take care of it for him, but they didn't really respect each other. You know, he kind of thought of his, his, his caretaker as a hick, and his caretaker kind of thought of him as some, you know, rich dude, and guess what happened? You know, when, when the guy went to his bug out location, do you think he was let in? You know, he bought it, but so what, right? So, interesting book. Answer, answers a lot of questions or gives you some questions that you might want to think about, um, as, as well as it's just another way of re reinforcing your mindset. You know, you, you, uh, you know, garbage in, garbage out, right? If, if you continually look at stuff and read about it and learn, it helps you out, even if it's fiction. So this is a pretty good book. It's it's worth the read. So there you go. And until next time, you can always catch us online, prepperbookshelf.com.